This is how the assassination attempt on Donald Trump unfolded while speaking at an election rally in Pennsylvania. Doors opened for the event in the town of Butler, around 50 minutes north of Pittsburgh, around 1 p.m. Eastern time. Trump was meant to start speaking at 5 p.m., but an hour late, he takes to the stage at 6.03. After a few minutes of amping up the crowd, at 6.05, he begins to speak. This is a big crowd. This is a big, big, beautiful crowd. At 6.10, Trump starts talking about the rise in immigration, pointing to a large chart behind him and blaming Joe Biden. At 6.12, shots are heard. Take a look at what happened. Trump puts his hand up to his ear and then immediately ducks behind the lectern. The crowd screams and crouches down. A number of Secret Service agents run on stage and dive on the former president. One crowd member has been killed. And moments later, a Secret Service agent says the shooter is killed too. The crowd is anxious. But begin to cheer as Trump is lifted up. As the agents try to take him off stage, the bloodied former president says, to which the crowd responds, at 6.13, Trump is escorted off stage, still rallying the crowd. And by 6.14, he's driven off in a black SUV to the local hospital. The crowds immediately begin to evacuate, still confused as to what has happened. Did he get hit? No. I think, I think there's something. He was standing. It wasn't until 6.42 that the Secret Service confirmed the incident and said Trump had been checked out at the local hospital. Over an hour later, they confirmed the shooter was dead. Biden delivered a short TV briefing condemning the attack at 8.13. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. Half an hour later, Donald Trump posted on Truth Social confirming he was hit in the upper right part of his ear. Around 9 p.m., Trump left the hospital in a motorcade and shortly after midnight, he landed in New Jersey on his way to his golf club and walks off the plane.